Uh, would you help them to top windows as well? Thanks. All right, guys. Seven, 70 packs of butter, N equals 70. Selected at random, random sample. Delivered to the supermarket are weighed. The mean weight is found to be 227 grams, and the standard deviation is, meant, is found to be 7.5 grams. Calculate the 95% confidence interval for the mean weight of all packs of the batch. Okay, so we have to find out the confidence interval. Okay, now the standard deviation was found, but it was found for 70 of them, wasn't it? So that means it's a standard error because there's, a, there's 70 packets involved in this question, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to say that it's uh, we're going to do 227 grams. And we're going to say it's plus or minus 1.96, the uh, the standard error. Okay. So, uh, and what is the standard error again? Let's delta over root n. Is that okay with you guys? And what we're going to do is we're going to put this into the calculator. Then we're going to put this as uh, 7.5, because that's the standard uh, the standard deviation and root 70. You're going to throw that into the calculator, add it on, take it away. And you should get an answer of uh, 225.2 grams is less than your mean, is less than 228.8 grams. Okay? And that's our 95% confidence interval. It's 95% because it has the 1.96. Okay? If one pack is selected at random from 70 packs, find the probability that the weight is not in the given interval. Anybody care to give me one? Would you figure out the interval between the sacred weights and stones? What interval did we just do? The 95%? Yeah. 95% of all of them are within this interval. If it's not in that interval, it must be part of the 5% that isn't. So no calculations required. It's just the 5% that isn't represented. It's just the 5% outside the margins. So when you do your curve, we have 95% in between those two lines. Uh, this, if, if you're outside the boundaries, you're in the regions that aren't in the 95%. Is that right? Okay, guys. Uh, I'll look for one with a bit of backbone to it. That was uh, reasonably... That's very basic. Uh, question 8 looks fun. Okay, now, <clears throat> once again, keywords, 64 sweets, any is 64. It's not a single item, it's several items. Therefore, standard deviation, don't want that, I actually want standard error. So it means I'm going to use sigma over... Root n. The reason I know I need standard error is because I'm using more than one item. Do you get it? I'm averaging a mean. That's how I know. Okay. Calculate the standard error of the mean. Exactly what it wants from me. So what's the standard deviation? 0 0.1 divided by root 64. 0 0.1 divided by root 64 gets me 0 0.0125 grams. What is the best estimate for mu, the mean of the large batch? What do we say? Uh, what's something that we've been repeating over and over again? If we drew a graph of the sweets, taking one sweet at a time, what would it look like? It'd more than likely be... We don't know if it's normally distributed or not, do we? No. Okay. But what do we always know? That the mean of the, the, the individual ones will be the same as the mean of the averaged ones. Do you know where, if I was to take all your scores individually, okay, and then if I was to put you in groups, if I was to take, if I was to put you in groups of four and average, average all your results, you should come up with the same average. So the answer is uh, mu, the mean. It should be the same. So it should be point, uh, what's it, 932. Should be exactly the same average. Okay. Construct the 95% uh, confidence interval. Okay, same same thing as last time. Uh, what's our, that's our average, isn't it? 
plus or minus 95% indicates that I have to use 1.96 and I also have to use the standard standard error okay uh, we already have the standard error don't we what is the standard error answer to part one exactly lob it into the calculator add it on take it away and you'll end up with 0 0.9075 less than mu less than point uh, sorry zero nine five nine five grams right done what would happen if a sample size of 100 was selected instead of a sample size of 64? 100 instead of 64. Does that narrow the conf Does that narrow the interval or widen it? Make a prediction. Narrow means less standard. Standard deviation is smaller. Remember what we said earlier, that's our current one at 64. If we did at 100, it'd be narrower and taller, wouldn't it? So, uh, wonder what it wants from us here. What's that part three, is it? Or part four? Part four. I think we'll just construct it again, but this time we'll use uh, 100 instead of, we'll use 100 instead of 64. Divide that by root 100, what do we get? 0 0.01. 0 0.01, yeah. So, our new standard error was 0 0.01. And instead of using 0 0.0125, we're just going to use 0 0.01. And we can clearly see that that's going to narrow that, isn't it? So, our new Compton's interval would be 0.9124, less than mu, less than 0.9516 essentially more people you interview narrower the interval okay so that's n equals 64 and that one's for n equals 100 happy days what conclusions can you draw from your results in part four anybody what does increase in the sample size do increase in sample size does what decreases the standard error and in turn decreases the width of the interval. The larger the sample size, the smaller the sample error. You okay with that? Okay, happy days. All right, uh, let's, have a, let's have a good read. There was a really good one in here. Next one. Any people are asked to measure their pulse rate when they woke up in the morning? N equals 80. Once again, says standard deviation, doesn't say standard error. So for me, that's 4 divided by root 80 straight away for the standard error. Okay? So it's, uh, the, it's, it's standard practice here. It's 69 plus or minus 1.96 standard error, which is sigma over root n, which I said is 4 over root 80, didn't I? Okay. So... Uh, you put that into the calculator and you'll get a uh, 68.12 less than mu less than 69.68 okay done what size Shh. lads here's the tricky question what size of sample would be needed to estimate the mean number of beats with 95% confidence so we're still talking about that 1.96 to it in plus or minus 1.5. So remember, this part here is the plus or minus part. Okay? And what's it asking for again? It's asking for an n value, is it? Is it asking what size of sample? So that indicates that it doesn't know the n value. So we put the n in here, okay, and what we're going to put it equal to, would everybody be happy that it's equal to 1.5? Let's rearrange and get this uh, shown around, so it's 1.96 multiplied by 4 equals uh, 1.5 root n, uh, I'll just send the 1.5 underneath, alright, so do me a favour now, 
just square out both sides, is it? Square out both sides and what you get. I think it's roughly, yeah, it's about, it's 27.318. Round up or round down? <coughs> Had to round up. Because remember, you want it to be you want it to be below within 1.5. If you round down, it it's above 1.5. You want it below 1.5, so you're going to go for n equals 28. All right. So that is question 11, and you can see this is this okay. The mean is the average of both results. So you you add 54.09 to 60.71, and then you divide it by two, and that will give you your mean. And the mean is the mean is 57.4. Did I get 57.4? Okay. Yes. Now, using that mean, calculate how far it is away from either side. So you can either do 57.4 take away 54.09, or you can do 60.71 take away 57.4. You should get the same answer for both. Either way, you're getting 3.31. Is that okay? Is everybody happy with 3.31 being the error either side? Okay. Remember what your formula was again. It's your average plus or minus 1.96. Uh, your standard deviation divided by root n to get the standard error. Now, do you know your n value? What's our n value? 80. 80. Yeah, and our, our standard deviation value is the goal of the question, isn't it? You happy enough with that? Goal of the question? Okay, now we know that at 1.96 sigma over root 80, we know what it is. It's 3.31 because the error is plus or minus 3.31. So we can just put that equal to 3.31, no bother. Okay, put the two of them equal to each other, and let's do let's isolate the uh, sigma value. Do uh, sigma equals 3.31 multiplied by root 80, and divide that answer by 1.96. And did anybody in the class get a standard deviation of 15.1? Is that kill you guys? All right, so I did 13, 11. 3, 8, 11, 13. Lads, do you guys reckon you'll be alright doing uh, questions 4, 7, 10 and 12 tonight? Should be alright? It's easy enough, isn't it? Alright.